Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you as always so much for being here. We had a Memorial Day poll on Patreon. The winner was Full Metal Jacket. I don't know much about this movie except that it's about the Vietnam War and I embarrassingly know very little about the Vietnam War, except that I think the US did not do well in it. I'm apprehensive about this one. I'm a little nervous. I'm watching in the daylight. Uh, hopefully that helps. I think it's important to watch stuff like this. This will be my first Vietnam War movie. Movies and shows like Saving Private Ryan, Band of Brothers, The Pacific has taught me so much. Respect, empathy, knowledge of war. So I know that even though it's so hard to see, that it's important that we learn about the history and the sacrifice. I would like to send my respects to those who currently fight for our freedom all over the world and their families and the sacrifice that that requires on this Memorial Day. And to all those who have lost their lives, you are not forgotten, you paid for our freedom and we are forever grateful. Okay, here we go. I did know that it was directed by Stanley Kubrick who also directed the scariest movie I've ever seen of The Shining. Was this required? Why are they being so aggressive about it? They look so young. Oh, he had beautiful hair. I am Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, your senior drill instructor. The first and last words out of your filthy sewers will be, sir. No, yes, sir. If you survive recruit training, you will be a minister of death praying for war. Oh but gosh. until that day, you are not even human being. Why is he saying that? The more you hate me, the more you will learn. There is no racial bigotry here. I do not look down on niggers, wops, or you are all equally worthless. What's your name, scumbag? Shut up, Private Brown, sir! From now on, you're Private Snowball. They don't serve fried chicken and watermelon in my mess hall. Is that you, John Wayne? Who said that? Who's a slimy little coming sh twinkle toe sucker? Who just signed his own death warrant? Whoa. Was it you, you scroungy little Sir, no, sir! Sir, I said it, sir! What have we got here? Private Joker. I like you. <laughs> You will I'm... learn by the numbers. I will teach you. Now get up, sir. Yes, sir. Why did you join my beloved cult? Sir, to kill, sir. Let me see your war face. Ah! You didn't convince me. Ah! This is so hard to watch. Why do they have to yell at him like that? Where in hell are you from anyway, Private? Sir, Texas, sir. The only and come from Texas, Private Cowboy. What's your name, fat body? Sir, Leonard Lawrence, sir. It's only and sailors are called Lawrence. From now on, you're Gomer Pyle. Wipe that stupid looking grin off your face. Sir, I can't help it. Small oh, Get on your knees, scumbag. Now lean forward and choke yourself. I don't like this, guys. Are you so grinning? I don't like sir, it. Yes, sir. I can't hear you. Sir, yes, sir. Get on your feet. That's Fisk, isn't it? That's Wilson Fisk. Sir, yes, sir. I get that you have to be tough, but you have to be so cruel and horrible and degrading. Oh no. You don't know left from right? Sir, no, sir. I don't know left from right. I have to do this every time. What side was that private pile? Sir, right side, sir. Are these people choosing to be here at this point or are they drafted? Because if they don't have a choice to be there, then they don't really have to like weed out the weak, right? Because they need everyone. Tonight, if you will sleep with your rifle, you will give your rifle a girl's name and you will be faithful. Now! Pray! This is my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Without me, my rifle is useless. Without my rifle, I am useless. Eddie! I feel uncomfortable. This is my rifle. This is my gun. This is my gun. And this is my gun. What is the point of that? I don't get it. I know that's probably me being silly or weak, but I don't get it. I don't get why you have to treat people like this. Why make them feel like nothing before they even go to the scariest place in their lives? This has to be an exaggeration, right? Next two privates, go 
moment. Private Joker, are you a killer? I didn't hear your war call. How many ankles do they break? Get your fat ass over there, front pile. Don't make any f***ing effort. If God wanted you up there, he would have miracles your ass. Just give up a second. One oh, pile. pile. Come on. You cannot do one single pull up. Get up here, fat boy. I can't take it. Why does he hate him so much? Move it, move it, move it. Are you quitting on me? Then quit. I will motivate you, private pile. Were you born a fat slimy? Stop it. it. Private pile. Did you have to work on it? The war will be over by the time we get up there. Mm. Do you feel dizzy? I can't imagine what Private Pyle is thinking as he goes to sleep every night. You believe in the Virgin Mary? No, no, sir! I don't believe I heard you correct. Here we go! Private said no, sir, sir! That is not allowed. Are you trying to offend me? So the private believes that any answer he gives will be wrong. The senior drill instructor will beat him harder if he reverses himself, sir. Private Snubble! Sir! Drill Snubble, you put your gun up, sir! You're fired! Private Joker is promoted to squad leader. Get out of there, sir! Private Pyle! Private Joker is your new squad leader. He'll teach you everything. He's got guts, and guts is enough. The bolt goes in the receiver. Oh, they have normal time. Left one over the right. Over Just throw your other leg over. That a boy. So Just nice. There you go. Pull the blanket and the sheet back together. I don't know how to feel. Your rifle is only a tool. If your killer instincts are not clean, you will become dead, Marine. And then you will be in a world of sh because Marines are not allowed to die without permission. Sir, yes, sir. What is this? If there is one thing in this world that I hate, it is an unlocked footlocker. Stop it. Let's just see if there's anything missing. Don't, don't. What the f is that? Sir, jelly donuts, sir. Are you allowed to eat jelly donuts? Sir, no, sir. Or why not? Sir, because I'm too heavy, sir. You are a disgusting fat body, Private Pile. Oh, he's gonna hurt him. I will not punish him. I will punish all of you. Get on your faces. They're paying for it. You eat it. One, uh... two, three, four, Everybody hates me now. I just keep making mistakes, getting everybody in trouble. I can't do anything right. I need help. I'm trying to help you, Leonard. Tuck your shirt in. I'm so scared of what's going to happen next. Oh. Three, four, three, three, Leonard, three, four, what'd he do? Three. What's happening? Guys, what are they going to do to him? Why are they doing this? <laughs> Remember, it's just a bad dream, bad boy. <laughs> oh my gosh! Why? That's gonna help him, knowing that everyone hates him. Sir, he was that guy who shot all those people from that tower in Austin, Texas, sir. From distances of up to 400 yards. Anybody know who Lee Harvey Oswald was? Sir, he shot Kennedy, sir. Shooting at a moving target. Do any of you people know where these individuals learned how to shoot? Sir, in the Marines, sir. Those individuals showed what one motivated Marine and his rifle can do. You will all be able to do the same thing. I'm not sure that's great motivation. Today is Christmas. The free world will conquer communism with the aid of God and a few Marines. God was here before the Marine Corps. So you can give your oh, heart like to this. Jesus, but your ass belongs to the Corps. Sir, yes, sir. Everything beautiful. Everything clean. Small shot. What? 
I feel like we should be concerned. I don't think Leonard can hack it anymore. I think Leonard's a section eight. What's a section eight? I think we finally found something that you do well. Sir, yes, sir. Put your six general order. Sir, the private has been instructed, but he does not know, sir. Come back, get on your face and give me 25. <sighs> sir, aye, aye, sir. What's the idea looking down in the chamber? Sir, that is the guarantee that the private is not giving the inspecting officer a load of weapons, sir. Private Powell, you are definitely born again hard. Sir, yes, sir. Graduation is only a few <gasps> days away. Is this Joker talking? They are ready to eat their own guts and ask for seconds. Excuse me? The Marine Corps does not want robots. The Marine Corps wants killers. Men without fear. You people are no longer maggots. Today, you are Marines. Every Marine is your brother. Most of you will go to Vietnam. Some of you will not come back. Marines die. That's what we're here for. Oh my gosh. But the Marine Corps lives forever. And that means you live forever. Adam. Sir, yes, sir. Engineer, you go out and find mine. Cowboy. Sir, yes, sir. Infantry. Joker. Infantry. Sir, yes, sir. Basic military journalism. Sir, I wrote for my high school newspaper, sir. You're not a writer. You're a killer. Yes, sir. Homer Pyle. Sir, yes, sir. Infantry, you made it. Uh oh. Our last night on the island, I draw Firewatch. What's a Firewatch? I'm scared. What's he doing? Hi, Joker. Don't look like that, please. Are those live rounds? Seven, six, two millimeter. Metal jacket. Oh gosh. If Hartman comes in here and catches us, we'll both be in a world of shit. I am in a world of shit. Right shoulder! Please don't, please don't. This is my rifle! There ain't many like it, but this one is mine! It is my life! Get back in your boat! Oh crap! Private Pyle has a full magazine and is locked and loaded, sir! Holy crap. You will place that rifle on the deck and step back away from it. Oh my gosh, he looks very scary. What is your major malfunction, num -nuts? Didn't mommy and daddy show you enough attention Don't, he's gonna shoot when you, you. Were a child? Ah! Easy, Lenny. No! Oh gosh! No! Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Uh. Oh my gosh! You got girlfriend, Vietnam? Not just this minute. Me love you long time. Love you long time. Yeah, little buddy. Play. You like spending some of your hard-earned money? That's Joker, right? They're in Vietnam now. You know what really pisses me off about these people? I'm supposed to be helping them and they sh all over us every chance they get. You take it too hard, Rafter man. I want to go out to the field. All I do is take handshake shots at award ceremony. You get wasted your first day in the field and it'd be my fault. Anybody got anything new? A Bruin intelligence says Charlie might try to pull out something big during the Ted holiday. I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. And Margaret and Entourage are due here next week. Uh, Rafter man, you take it. Get me some good low angle stuff. NBA learned Marines on a search and destroy mission. In the future, in place of search and destroy, substitute the phrase sweep and clear. Very catchy. All that fire in the grunts must have hit something. Didn't see it. We run two basic stories here. Winning of hearts and minds. And combat what? action that results in a kill. Winning the war. I don't know what he's talking about. I'll rewrite it and give it a happy ending. They get a sapper or an officer. How about a general? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'd like our guys to read the paper and feel bad. Vietnamese Lunar New Year's Eve. I'm f***ing bored to death, man. I ain't heard a shot fired in anger in weeks. A day without blood is like a day without sunshine. You listen to Joker, new guy? You know he's never been in this sh because he ain't got the stare. The stare? The thousand yard stare. A Marine gets it after he's been in this sh for too long. It's like he really seen beyond. All field Marines got it, and you'll have it too. I <laughs> will. What? What's what's? Is that the fireworks? How <gasps> to just 
fucking with us. I'm ready for this shit. I don't think that's a drill. Oh my gosh. Is this the enemy coming in? Uh... The enemy has very deceitfully taken advantage of the Tet ceasefire to launch an offensive all over the country. We've had it pretty easy here, but we seem to be the exception. It was supposed to be a ceasefire. Charlie's cut the country in half. Who's Charlie? The and press are about to wet their pants. Even Cronkite's gonna say the war is now unwinnable. It's a huge sandwich and we're all gonna have to take a bite. Does this mean that Aunt Margaret's not coming? <laughs> I want you to get straight up to Fubai. Captain January will need all his people. Yes, sir. And Joker, you will take off that damn button. How's it gonna look if you get killed wearing a peace symbol? Permission to go with Joker? Permission granted. Where Permission are they going? not to take Rafter Man with me. Banish Joker and take Rafter Man with you. You're responsible for it. So basically, they're in a bad place right now. What's he doing? Is he actually shooting or just pretending? Oh, no. <gasps> the civilians he was shooting at? Oh, my gosh. Does that mean they like want to go see the action? Well, I have that yucky feeling watching this. We're looking for Hotel 25. We got a bro named Cowboy there. We're reporters from Stars and Stripes. I'm Cowboy's platoon commander. My people call me Mr. Touchdown. Play for the ball for Notre Dame. You're here to make Cowboy famous? It never happened, sir. You people keep looking for a story. This is your lucky day. We heard some scuttlebutt, sir, about the NBA executing a lot of I saw some buddies about a half a click this side of Phu Cam Canal. Can you show me where, sir? The NVA, North Vietnamese Army, executing civilians. You know how it happened, sir? It seems the NVA came in with a list of names and asked them to report the next day for political re-education. Everybody turned up, got shot. Some they buried alive. Oh my gosh! Green, what is that button on your body armor? A peace symbol, sir. I think I was trying to suggest something about the duality of man, sir. The what? The Jungian thing, sir. Wait a second. Why wouldn't everyone in the army want peace? Ooh, I do not like the idea of what he just said. They both look so different with hair. Been getting any? Only your sister. Well, better my sister my mom, or my mom's not bad. <laughs> this is my bro, Joker. And this is Raptor Man. They're from Stars and Stripes. They'll make you famous. You a photographer? I'm a combat correspondent. Seen much combat? <laughs> I've seen a little on TV. <laughs> he looks familiar. You talk the talk. Do you walk the walk? Now you might not believe it. Under fire, Animal Mother's one of the finest human beings in the world. All he needs is somebody to throw hand grenades at him the rest of his life. Come on. Thank God for the sickle cell. Yeah, brother. Hey, what? photographer. This is my bro. I'm scared. I'm so uncomfortable. I don't... <sighs> The Vietnam War was fought because North Vietnam wanted communism and South Vietnam didn't, right? So the US came to help South Vietnam. They're going out in it. The Stars and Stripes guys, Joker and Rafterman. <gasps> what? It hit him? Oh my gosh! We are receiving incoming fire. The lieutenant is down. We're gonna move up these two roads here and check the mill. Let's get it done! Are they going with them now? Oh my gosh. It's so hard to believe. Like, they're just literally walking down a road, and in one second you're alive, and the next you're dead. Quiet. Something's gonna scare me. Why are they playing 
this music? What is happening? First of all, this song makes my heart hurt for some reason. Temperify. We're mean Marines. I want this to be over. Better you than me. At least they died for a good cause. What cause was that? Freedom? Flush out your hit, you new guy. You think we waste for freedom? This is a slaughter. If I'm gonna get my balls blown off for a word. Holy crap. White City interviews, roll 34. When we're in White City, it's like a war. What I thought a war was supposed to, you know, was supposed to be. There's the enemy, you kill him. We're the best. When this really hits the fan, who do they call? Mother Green and her killing machine. Do I think America belongs in Vietnam? I don't know, I belong in Vietnam. They took away our freedom and gave it to the you know, they don't want it. They'd rather be alive than free, I guess. <sighs> <Dumb bastards. laughs> well, if you ask me, uh, we're shooting the wrong I'm here to take combat photos, but if the it's too thick. I mean, I'll go to the rifle. I wanted to be the first kid on my block to get a confirmed kill. I feel so weird about this. Uh, yeah. The NVA had pulled out of our area to positions across the Perfume River. Our squad is sent on patrol to check out the report. So he's just part of the squad now? He's not going back to the writing? Who was that? Crazy's hit. Booby trap. You're senior NCO, cowboy. You're in charge. Falling anywhere, scumbag. This just looks like the end of the world. I think we made a mistake at the last checkpoint. And I think we're here. We should be here. We should change the direction. Can they just do that? Should they call somebody? Okay, we're changing direction. We're heading over that way. A ball's gonna go over and see, can he find a way through? But they don't know if this way is clear. Oh gosh. Ah! My gosh. I think we're being set up for an ambush. There may be strong enemy forces in those buildings over there. I've requested tank support. If they decide to hit us, we'll have to pull back fast. We can't leave him out there. We'll get him when the tank comes up. He can't wait that long. That sniper's just trying to suck us in one at a time. <laughs> I'm going in to bring him out. Sit what the f down. They're not listening to him. They're going to have no bullets left. I don't like this. I think they're gonna hit us any minute. When they do, we won't have time to pull out. Let's get ready to move. There's only one f***ing sniper out there. Back off, mother. We're not leaving Doc J and 8 Ball out there. Let's go get them. Let's do it. Stand down, mother. That's a direct order. He's gonna die. Do they even have any idea what building he's in? <laughs> Holy crap. I don't like this. <sighs> It's Jane. That's who it is. It's Jane from Firefly. Going with you. I'm coming too. Let's move off. Uh, what if they're hiding? He could have moved though. How top are we talking? It feels like this is so helpless. It's so helpless. No one's gonna get to him in time. Let's go get some payback. Okay. 
But he can see all them and they cannot see him. <laughs> now what? They're not gonna run? Okay, they are. Just them two? No, everyone, okay. He's going by himself? I don't think they should separate. They don't have walkie talkies, right? It was a girl. That was like a young girl. Is that Rafter Man? We got the sniper! How did she not kill Joker? He was behind the cement. She's saying. She's praying. Nothing we can do for her. Let's get the f out of here. What about her? Let her run. Oh. Everything is wrong. We can't just leave her here. Situation. I'm running the squad now. And I say we leave the for the mother loving rats. I'm not trying to run this squad. I'm just saying we can't leave her like this. If you want to waste her, go on, waste her. This is horrible. She was just trying to kill him. She killed their friends, but she's just laying there. Stop! It really... Scene change, please. We're gonna have to put you up for the Congressional Medal of... Oh! Oh, man. Are they mocking him right now? We have nailed our names in the pages of history. Enough for today. Mickey Mouse! Mickey Mouse! M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E I am so happy that I am alive in one piece. I am in a world of shit, but I am alive and I am not afraid. What? It's over? Uh, what? I had a very hard time with that movie as I think you could see all of it pretty much. Did not enjoy a second of it. I know I wasn't supposed to. I know they were probably trying to show the realism and the grittiness and the horribleness and the pointlessness of it all. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel, but I just feel bad. The first part in the camp was so crude and degrading. I don't fully understand that method, I guess. Then the second half, I think they were trying to show that these Marines were confused also why they were there. They were trained to kill, but they felt like they didn't even know that the people they were trying to help wanted it. And the part with the prostitutes was really hard for me to watch. I can understand that Pyle, Wilson Fisk in Daredevil, I recognize him from, played his role like eerily well. I don't want to think about it anymore though. Joker, I think, I don't know if he like talked to Big Talk or, or he wanted to be. I feel like it, his pin and his hat said it all. Like he wanted both. And in his interview, he's like, yeah, I want to be the first one to confirm the kill. And then when it came down to it, he, I, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. The Vietnam War looked and sounded like a horrible, horrible time. And I guess I learned that I should not ever do that again. Is it important that I still saw it? Probably. In some war movies, they show the hero and you feel inspired and they didn't do that here. They showed heroes fighting for their country, but it wasn't like that inspirational feeling kind of movie on purpose. And I think too with like the weird music they were playing, I don't know what they were trying to do with that. I guess just show like the duality as Joker said. Oh, that was rough. It was really, really rough. Thank you so much for watching along with me. I'll see you again soon.